Hey everyone, um, it's Chris here. Um, today I'm hoping to provide you with a solution to a problem that I've had and hopefully it helps someone else out there. I'm using Codename1 um, for mobile app building so that I can publish to both iOS and Android um, using you know one source of code or one source of truth if you if you will. So um, for those of you who are familiar with Codename1 it's a great platform. Um, there's some free options, which is what I'm currently using, and um, it pretty much allows you to develop in whatever IDE you prefer. Um, it supports a whole bunch of them. I'm using IntelliJ, um, and then obviously with the codename one extensions on it, and um, it works great. The only problem is when you, the from the first of August, Google um, Developer Console have changed the way that they manage keys and by default if you set up a and I'm just going to jump over there if you set up a new application right so such as this one so this is an app I'm working on if you set up a new application and you've published the AAB or the the Android app bundle um, which I've done then you're unable to upload a new version if you've selected the wrong settings when you uploaded your first AAB file and I'll explain that in a minute. So you'll see while this is loading it gives me the option I've got currently version 1.0 it gives me the option to upload a new version right but when I try and upload a new version I get the following error it tells me that um, the Android app bundle is signed with the wrong key. Ensure that your app bundle is signed with the correct signing key again. Your app bundle is expected to be signed with a certificate with fingerprint, blah, blah, blah. All right. Now, usually you shouldn't share this information, but um, my app is useless now, so I'm going to have to delete it anyway. So it's all fine. Now, the mistake I made is if we go to app integrity, you'll see that it's telling me that play app signing is enabled and Google is managing your app signing key. You can't change this, you can't edit it, you can't re redo this. One thing you can do is request a key upgrade for your app signing, but not for your upload certificate. So if you've done this wrong, you're pretty much screwed. If you try and download the certificate, it'll just give you a .der file, which you can't do much with in terms of creating your own key store again. So the problem here is, um, if we go back to Codename 1 and we just look at the settings, so let's go to the Codename 1 preferences. What happens is uh, Codename One has got a a, a, a key a key store generator, right? So it'll do the signing for you through this key store thing. Now, the first thing you need to also uh, make sure that you keep track of is the versioning, right? And the other thing is, for some reason, when you make it 1.1, it turns into 1.10 after you've uh, made some changes. So maybe I should have used 1.01. Anyway, if we go to device settings and I go to Android and we look at the settings first of all because I've already created the key store through the certificate generator which looks like this so enter a password an alias full name organization unit company city state and a two-letter country code right and then when you click on generate it'll create a key store okay so it tells you where it's located and obviously that key store has got a password and it's got an alias so what you need is the key store file you need the password and you need the alias for later use. I'll explain. So what happens with the um, developer console on, on Google's platform is that if you create a new app, and I'm going to do that fairly quickly. So well, let's create a new app just to demonstrate. And we'll just call this one test um, one. Let's give it a bit of a better name. So we'll call it Kiwi test one. All right, and it's an app and it's free and we can confirm all of these things and we create the app. All right, now we're going to jump straight in. I'm not going to go through all of the setup in the developer console or the play console. Um, I'm going to jump straight into the issue with the uploading of the bundles and explain to you why um, mine didn't work previously and what you can do to fix that in the future. So from the dashboard, um, you can go to start testing now and let's quickly just select testers you have to do that first um, I've already got testers set up if you don't you can create an email list blah 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 and I'll just supply um, an email address here seeking kiwi.com all right so let's save that and let's start with the process of uploading stuff so I'm gonna go back here we can create a new release here but yeah actually we can just do that so let's go create new release that's the next step so we want to create a release so that we can start uploading our bundle now this is very important you'll see when you've created a new app and you haven't uploaded an AAB or an app bundle yet 
you can change the app signing key settings but once you upload that AAB you're pretty much screwed and you can't change it right so you need to do this before you do anything else it's very important so when you click on that uh, change app signing key um, you'll see it says user use Google generated key don't do that choose use a different key right and then select the third option export and upload a key from Java key store okay so you need to download this um, PepK tool which is a, a jar file right and then you need to copy this code so you copy this code to the clipboard which I'm gonna do and now that I've done that I can go to wherever I'm using notepad and you can paste it in there now we know that the key store name um, was provided to us in the settings in the codename one preferences and it's this key so I'm gonna use this key right and I'm gonna place that together with the um, PepK jar in one folder right don't worry about the AAB that that's compiled we don't need it for this we need the key store um, and we need that jar file in the same folder now if we go back to Google you'll see it gives you some information it says generate this thing do this stuff and then upload the generated zip file from this process right so let's go back here and let me go change some stuff so I want to change the name of the key store here so let's chuck that in there um, it needs the alias again that's what you've set up in your code name one preferences so make sure it's the same and then there's an output file that it's going to generate so we want to just uh, place that in there as well okay good so far so good another very important thing is you have to set up some environment variables in order to run um, Java commands and, and, and scripts from Windows so if we go to environment variables then um, the one you have got to look at is path and if we double click on path you'll see I've added mine here your paths might vary depends on um, what JDKs you've got installed um, mine sits because I've got Android studio mine sits within C program files Android JDK blah 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 JRE forward slash bin right and you should check and verify that in that bin folder is actually got a java.exe um, executable right if you don't have that you can download the Java JDKs or JREs um, that's that's a different topic but anyway so here we go so I'm gonna take this whole line here minus the dollar um, and the space in front of it and I'm gonna copy that to the clipboard and I'm gonna go to that um, folder containing my information all I need to do here is open the command prompt and I'm gonna paste that in there once I hit enter it's gonna say it wants the password for the store so I need to provide the same password that I provided when setting up um, the key generator um, in codename one preferences okay it has to be the same and you do the same for the next one I hope I put in the right one all right once that's done you'll see it now gives you this um, Kiwi test one dot K is uh, underscore K is dot zip all right so that is the key store that we need to upload back into Google so when it says upload generated zip we click on the button and you'll see I've done this before with a previous exercise let me just go to the new one that I've set up now which is over here and it's that zip file we want so there we go all right now that that's done we click save all right now you can upload your bundle so let's go and do that so I'm gonna click upload um, oops let's just go back there there's my first release right so all I did in this code was um, and I'll explain that in a minute let's just do the upload what I did in this one is we if we go back to the preferences but a bit a bit a bit you'll see that we've got version uh, 1.1 here and that's gonna be the initial release um, so mine says Google test 2 because obviously I've done this a few times uh, to try and get it to work so we'll see the versioning and all of that that's for the current one so while we're uploading that previous one let's go and change this and let's make that 1.2 and we're gonna save this obviously if you change stuff here on the certificate generator if you run it again or you change settings here um, in the key store settings then that's gonna screw things up and you'll have to repeat that other PepK um, process again right um, let's change this to Google test 3 and then let's send this to an Android build using codename one so I'm gonna go send Android build and we'll go back and see what's happening here with our upload so it's uploaded so everything is good um, it shows us the version it shows us um, everything else here so it's saying you know everything is pretty much good okay now 
we want to make sure that when we go to our bundle explorer so let's go to the app bundle explorer It's showing version 1 there instead of 1.1 because I uploaded my first one that I built prior to this video. So just keep that in mind. If I uploaded my second version, it would have said 1.1. But you'll see, we're going to do an update and it's going to show 1.2 once we do that. So we can see, okay, here it all is. So it's all there. What we want to do is upload a new version. And um, we'll do that as soon as I've got my new build here. So let me just refresh because I think this might not have refreshed. Um, so I'm pretty sure it will still be building. There we go. So we can see it's building currently and we'll have to give that a minute or so to finish. So while that's happening, I'm going to pause the video and not waste your time. Rightio. So there we go. It's done and I can download the um, app bundle now. So as soon as that's done, let's go and chuck this over here. Oh, come on. So we'll just change the name here. I'm going to call this one test three because I've already had a test two, uh, a one and a two. So I'll chuck that in here. There we go. And that's the new one. We don't have to run any of the key store stuff again. It's already done. The key store has been uploaded. It's a one time process. So we don't have to repeat that. But now if I go upload a new version and I select that new AAB, then uh, hopefully everything is going to work the way it should and it should update it and not give me that very annoying and frustrating error that tells us that the signatures don't match. Right, so let's see if that works. Very important, if you don't change the version number and you upload it, it will also give you an error saying that this version number already exists, so you have to change it. There we go, so it's done. So once you've set that up, uploaded that key store, then you're good to go and you shouldn't experience the problems that I had and spent two or three days trying to figure it out and not receiving any support whatsoever on how to fix it. There we go. Hope that helps you. If you do, click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Cheers.